Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. As you can see, our set has kind of changed. Well, it's not really a set at all. Uh, it's the lobby uh, of the new construction area here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network studio. So uh, it's actually first broadcast from the new lobby. Yeah, I suppose we could say that, right? Mm -hmm. So this will be another, become an anniversary date sometime uh, down, down the line. But in the meantime, uh, we can review rolls on with the verse of the day. And uh, since it's just Ganim and I, let's uh, have Ganim read the verse of the day. What do you find? I'm glad to. Marlon, I found a verse that I'm very fond of. It's, it states, So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. He is our creator. Yes, he is. And and, and and what I like about this verse, uh, well, first, before I say what I like about verse, I'm going to ask you, what some of God's characters comes to mind? Love, kindness, patience. All of those. Grace, justice, and so on, right? So when I, when I was a kid, I used to look at that as the image, the physical image of God, which is a little bit, you know, unknown because we really don't know the image of God but we know his characters. And, 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 and as I grow up in faith and I get older, I begin to realize that God created us in his image with these characters that we just mentioned, plus many other characters. He gave us all these characters before we fell from grace, before Adam and Eve sinned. All these characters were given to us as humans, and I believe those characters still in us as long as we exercise it and practice it through Christ, with the work of the Holy Spirit. So we're never going to be like God, but God gave us that nature and that ability in us to grow bigger than where we are here in our sinful uh, nature. Well, certainly we are not gods. I mean, you know, that's, no, the, that's the, the, the thinking of the world out there. Uh, and the Loma Linda Broadcasting uh, Network is uh, trying to separate from the world and, and that kind of of the thinking, but uh, we are created, uh, male and female, as you, uh, wh why did you choose that verse? Well, it, it's again because he created us both men and female with that, I believe in the, in the image of God, of all the characteristics that we have mentioned, plus much more. Uh, uh, there is no one greater or lesser than the other. God created both in his image. And, uh, mm -hmm. and the image, again, to me, it's about who we become, who we are, the character that God uh, allow us to adapt. Um, but um, this is where the mission of LLBN, LLBN comes really important because it's all about sharing God's character and the gospel of Jesus throughout the world, you know, to be Christ-like. We have to learn all these characters, to re, re, reshape them in our soul, in our heart, in our minds, uh, to practice it as much as we can, to keep working at it, to get better and better. We would never, ever, not even a shred, reach God's perfection. But the values, the character, just as we parents put values in our families, in our kids when they grow up, God had created those values in us, and it's for us to discover and to practice and to grow with and to help our viewers around the world to recognize that male and female are created in God's image and are given are given the gift from God to grow in our characters to be Christians and model Christians to others around us so the believers will be differentiated not only in the eyes of the Lord but the eyes of the people. They can see the difference between, the world should see the difference between the believers with character, with the characters of God versus the non-believers. Hmm. Well, again, with uh, has the last word on the, the verse of the day. Well, for the last year, actually it's more than a year, by a couple of weeks, uh, Loma Linda Broadcasting Network has featured a uh, Friday night church service. And, uh, well, that's like uh, a year and two, three weeks. Yeah, if you can believe it, Marlon, time is going by. Very and, fast. And, and I just want to say, Marlon, the beauty of sustaining. Now, remember, LLBN runs 24-7. So we're not just handling one church service a week like, say, most churches do. We are introducing the worship program that airs weekly live. 
and we're keeping 168 hours of programming every week per channel to stay live worldwide. So kudos to our workers, kudos to our volunteers who work so hard. Just to name three young special people we have here today with us, uh, ZIA, uh, who is one of our volunteers and maybe eventually be one of our workers here, uh, Austin and Caleb. Three fine young men, Marlon. Uh, it is so beautiful to see young people come with, in, with energy to serve the Lord. And I'd like to open up an invitation to our viewers uh, who are local to join us, to join our volunteer team and become a volunteer here at LLBN, especially during the summer season. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to do serving the Lord through many talents that you can put to work here. So I imagine we're going to need some more volunteers uh, because we have this new space that uh, we need to occupy it. And there's a lot of help. I mean, you can see that, you know, we don't even have wallpaper yet. <laughs> uh, so if you... Um, are interested in being a volunteer and and not so much interested in the production of yes. for you to do as well. Uh, we need office clerical. We need uh, well. We always need uh, uh, production people. Computer skills. Yeah, computer computer skills especially. You know, people who help just maintain the place, mm -hmm. organization, clean up phone calls, calling, uh, uh, making phone calls on behalf of our. Uh, a gifts and trust mm -hmm. team. So there, there are a lot of activities. Open the mail, filing the mail, uh, filing the mail, audio, video, running camera. Uh, mm -hmm. There Editors. is something for everyone here who comes. We cater things to people, mm -hmm. desire and personalities. Really need uh, a, a big need for uh, some more volunteer editors. Mm -hmm. So Paul Darrell or Jay, always at the bottom of the screen. And uh, get on board. I mean, this is the time. This is the ground floor of, of the new addition here in Loma Linda. Uh, uh, this is a uh, building down. <laughs> a lot of amazing technology is going in there that you could be witness, one of the early witnesses to witness and see the amazing, the amazing growth taking place here this summer. Uh, you can see it. You can witness it. You can be part of it as well. It's nice uh, if you're in the local area to be a volunteer, but it's uh, just as nice if you're living in Massachusetts or uh, somewhere in South America uh, or even India. We have volunteers in India that uh, work with Wesley James on the uh, Southern Asia channel all the time. And uh, we need volunteers for all those channels. But uh, let's start with the, here, uh, his word and uh, his light. And I, As a matter of fact, Marlon, we have volunteers in North Iraq, in Lebanon. Right. We have them in uh, uh, South America and several places in South America. So our volunteers all over the place. So don't let that uh, uh, dissuade you from uh, going to our website at uh, llbn.tv. Uh, there you will find a uh, uh, tab to click to open a volunteer uh, form that you can fill out and submit and then just give uh, Jay Hughes a, fall, a call for follow-up, and he'll call you, too. So uh, thank you for all you do to this ministry. So, yeah, let's talk about, um, well, we've, we've talked about his word, his life. We've talked about uh, some foreign channels. Mm -hmm. well, let's... Uh, Arabic, all right. There's well, so many things going on. Yeah, so... Uh, again, it goes back to the dedication of volunteers who love to help serve the Lord. Uh, this entire week uh, kind of been dedicated to two special volunteers, uh, director of the Arabic channel, Dr. Edmund Haddad, along with his, a key speaker, uh, uh, Francis Saliba, who are working on recording 44 programs, Steps Toward Eternity. Uh, great programs. It's all in native Arabic. Uh, they will premiere on the LLB and Arabic channel uh, probably in the next month or so. Very important programs for our uh, Middle East uh, audiences, the Arab world, to learn about the steps to Christ and to learn about many essential uh, teachings here from the Bible on LLB and in their native language. Well, it's amazing that uh, this ministry has been so blessed by God, uh, run for, for a large part by volunteers, although we do have, you know, a, a staff. Uh, tiny percentage. <laughs> really tiny staff. 2% versus 98% volunteers. Yeah, and uh, so 
this is this is really a ministry you can get behind. You know, we're we're just like you. Uh, we have to be frugal with our money and uh, spend it, uh, you know, in the best ways possible to uh, to serve our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what LBN is all about, Jesus Christ. That that's the reason we're here. Mm. That's that's why this ministry and magnet is so many to come and serve. So the Arabic channel is not the only channel that's uh, featuring new programming. Uh, we'll have another uh, a couple of series. In fact, I think we can mention all the ones that are in the works today just for the matter of the time. But that's right. go ahead and, and um, excite us with a couple of titles or, or series. Well, the only two that, I have, uh, that, that were handed to me here to talk about is there are two special series being taped here at LLBN uh, uh, while we speak, actually. Revelation of Peace by Pastor uh, Jeff Harper. Uh, there's going to be 16-part series. They will premiere this summer on LLBN. It is amazing how well it dissects and explains the book, the book of Revelation. It's really simplified version and an amazing insight by Pastor Harper how to understand Revelation uh, uh, through these 16-part series. The second one, it's a book, another series called Little Book Open by Pastor John Anderson. It's also an in-depth book, but yet simplified. I mean, a, another simplified uh, series on to understand the, uh, the, 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 the essence of the Bible and the promise of Jesus Christ during the last days. So we're looking forward yeah. to all these series here on LBN as it blessed us to bless you out there and to bless all these souls we are trying to reach desperately. I'm uh, really excited about the Jeff Harper uh, thing because I know that uh, kids really love him. Uh, teenagers, uh, adolescents uh, really, really gravitate to uh, his style of evangelism. So uh, if you have grandchildren or uh, uh, people that are you know, interested in, uh, in a younger age category, uh, watch out for that. It'll really be a blessing. Well, again, let's talk about this, uh, this building. I mean, we're here in the lobby. This is kind of the central uh, point. I mean, you know, we got down this hallway uh, some kind of offices, and then the real big storage areas in, down that hill. Uh, how are we at this point? How are yeah. we? Where are how, we? Yeah, where are we at? Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're probably at the last four critical projects to complete. I would say we're over 60% done with the construction. The last phases are the most critical and the most expensive. Fire sprinklers, mm. outside stucco, which is coming, I think in a week and a half, they start doing the stucco. And then, the, uh, and then of course, the mechanics, the mechanicals, which is the air conditioning and the heating for the place. Uh, drywall is a large project, but as you see, the drywall put up is not being taped and textured yet. Uh, that will be done, but that's not as critical as the other three that I named. Uh, God seems to be providing, Marlon, and folks, week by week, the help, the financial helps keep coming in just to meet the need. And the workers, the contractors are phenomenal. They are no slackers. They work so hard, so fast. They're a Christian crew headed by a wonderful Adventist dear friend, Gabriel Isaiah. And they're doing an amazing job. I look every day when I come in here and I realize God's hand on this ministry. He is blessing this place. He's blessing this ministry. And he's blessing us all through this ministry, Marlon. Well, that's all the time we have for, for the edition of uh, Week in Review. Cards and Letters will be next week with Sheila when she returns on Week in Review here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Hey, let's go back to the live church services and see what's going on in the university church. Bye-bye for now.